Listen, Witcher. Got us some weird diablin, you know? Drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. Attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. The sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none of them comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him. Well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. Rurik, right? Heard you were on a boat the drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my... Cousin, gathering our crab traps off the Kyrid cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. Oh, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full, it'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink, and Ulf was underwater. Called after him once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. I smelled something horrid. Rotten, but worse. And the Moir Diablin flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freyr watching over me. That, or the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Kivilla, our son, he went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierak cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life, and that he could die himself. He'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still. Donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched me brother, grabbed a torch, and we went looking for him. The Muira Diablin. Sea fiends. They clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. Small comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell.
is for sure. Lair must be nearby. sense of smell. She won't come back while I'm here, unless she coexists with drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands cover up my scent.
wonder if he's as strong Slower. as he looks. Why are you walking when the wheelbarrow's attacked? Job's done. Here's the proof. Now why would I want to see... What the devil is that? Water hag. An old, clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in my life. Moorays, lampreys, blobfish. But never nothing like this. Your award. Well earned, Witcher. Well earned. Thanks. So long. Man needs worries like a boat needs ballast. I'm so goats and Sorry to trouble you, but I really have no choice. What is it? Our ship was wrecked against the rocky shore June and the last storm. I've lost everything. How am I supposed to help? I haven't even got the coin for the journey home, and with each day's delay, I draw closer to bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Might have guessed you'd come around to coin. So, need a loan? Or is it just alms you're after? I should pay you back every last copper, I swear it. You need only call on me at my address in Novigrad. Fine, I'll help you. I visit Novigrad often enough. Might stop by, see how business is going. Hey, you. You'll find me in the port district. My name's Johan Bonner. See you later, then. Dumbly beg your pardon, but I'm in quite a predicament. See, I'm I'm a wandering juggler from occupied Tamaria and Tamaria? You sure? Not Novigrad. What? Why Novigrad? I come from Malibor and uh... You're not cut out for this line of work. Memory's too short. See, we've met. But you were a respected Novigrad merchant who wanted desperately to get home. Oh, but but I assure you I all right, all, all right, you got me. I, I know this all looks bad, but I, I swear I, I'll pay you back, mate. All of it with with interest. Just please, don't don't take me to the yard. Definitely won't get my coin back if I turn you in. But try to cheat me again, and I'll find you. I'll find you and I'll... Yeah, I ain't lying. Besides, you can go to the yard any time you want. Then I expect to see you later. Look at us. 
satchel. Get him, lads. For the women. The and it hurts horrible. As if, drink last night too. as if something was tearing me apart. We went man in need. Shall go see the druids. The guild. Greetings again. See, I had no intention of cheating you. Your coin. You're lucky. I'm not exactly known for being forgiving. Still, take my advice. Find a new profession. Must be Zarakadian. that I fell and cracked me damn leg in two. Stop whining, Peter. I'm ashamed to hear it. Pull yourself together, man. Worst case, Henrik will whittle you a wooden leg. Old Ola's got one, and you don't hear him complaining. Old Ola's also got lice, stinks, and leaks out of both ends. Yet he don't complain about that either. You two gonna help or no? How do you fall? We set out to light a fire there, atop of the statue's shoulders, for our own glory and that of our ancestors. Looks like you succeeded. Aye, but the fire won't big so quick Petter jumped back, lost his balance. Got lucky anyway. Could have broken his neck falling from that height. 
This statue, what is it? An altar to the god of warriors. Any man who dares climb it and light the fire gains the favor of the gods. Fame and... And an excellent chance of snapping his leg off at the arse. Are you going to help me, or are you going to continue preaching? This celandine should help you. It won't mend your leg, but it will make it hurt less. Thanks. Our undying gratitude, that gets you. The gratitude of a dying man in my case. Enjoy it while it lasts. Shut it and show me that leg. Thanks again. God's guide you.